Hall of Fame. fame. Hall of Fame is a uh, is a thing that we do. We did this last year where we immortalize a game that we feel that represents us here at Primal Target as, you know what, this game is so good and has such an impact on our lives uh, as gamers uh, personally that we feel this game should be, you know what, this is the game. This game is so good. Last year I gave Gears of War a Hall of Fame or er, uh, inductee. Uh, as well as David and Quinn nominated theirs. And so um, this year, our panel has changed a little bit. And so we're going to go through uh, what you guys are going to nominate for the first time. And this will be my second time I'm nominating for the class of 2018. So uh, who wants to go first? Um, I can go first. Okay. Jameson, take it away. Who is the first inductee? Of the class of 2018 here for Primal Target. Um, I gave New Super Mario Bros. for the DS. Okay. So what is it about this game that you feel like, I guess, should be immortalized? Like, what is it about this game that makes um, it so good? It was kind of the first game that really brought me into gaming. Like, it was my first, like, sit down and just grind it. Is like, you know, I don't really, like... I don't know. I just really loved how the game worked. I beat it over and over and over again. It was just, I don't know, kind of like my first video game memory, I guess, of like me just really loving a video game. Okay. Yeah, because like it, it's on the DS. Yeah. So that's the thing is like you chose, you, you don't play your DS that often. I do not. And so it's, so that's why when the second one came out, I was, I was hyped. Mm -hmm. I beat that in like three hours. Okay. Oh wow. So what about the first one that sets this a bar from a lot of the other games that you've played? Like um, what what is what does this game have that those other games just didn't stick with you? I mean, not uh, saying that they aren't that great, but like what about Super Mario Brother? New Super Mario Brothers uh, makes it like such impactful for you, other than being like your first memory. Like what about the gameplay or the story that that really took you? through it because i remember watching you like when we go in on disney trips and like you would play it on the airplane and like uh and this was like after a while of you having the game yeah like, you kept playing it so what why why keep going back like why keep playing it i don't know it was like just my first i don't know just there was something clicking yeah yeah it was just always something that it just really entertained me. And since it was a, a portable thing, I was just like, that was also a nice thing about it is that I don't have to be sitting in my room playing it. I can just play on the go. Mm -hmm. And it just, I don't know. I really loved Mario because obviously I'm a six year old that loves Mario. So yeah. at the time, yeah. he's not a six year old now. He's a big six year old. <laughs> <laughs> Call me fat. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's just a game, a very big memory in gaming for me was Super Mario Bros. All right, cool. cool. All righty. Ashton? Um, mine is going to be Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sounds a little familiar. Yeah. For our our played, PT Plays watchers. Played that a little bit on yeah. the streams. Yeah. Um, that was when we were on the dark side of the internet. Yeah, we were on, uh, <laughs> we were on Twitch still. Um. Still have to beat it all the way through, like 100% it. Oh, okay. Um, so basically the reason um, – let me just start off with, you know, why I got to play it in the first place. So the story is I grew up with, uh, like, a Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, all that stuff, but I didn't actually start playing at games religiously until the GameCube came out. Um, in the GameCube, I mean, it's – Pretty much a piece of shit, but <laughs> I mean, the purple had, lunchbox. <laughs> it, it has a lot of great exclusives on it, and just a lot of good games in general. Um, but Sonic Adventure Two, I got for my birthday. My parents, uh, I think, forgot last minute um, to get like wrapping paper, so they found a cardboard box and put all my presents in the cardboard. Good box. job, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's the felt that counts. Hey, man. Hey, your dad, your dad watches the show. Hey, so. Yeah, so uh, hey, shout out to you guys. Dad. <laughs> um, but uh, it's when I put that in, um, it was very different from all the other Sonic games that I had played. You know, from you know the classic like 2D version. You know, Sonic games from way back when. 
and uh, even the first Sonic Adventure. Um, it was a 3D Sonic uh, game, and also um, it showed two sides of a story. Um, so it's it's linear, but you can see the hero side and also the dark side. Um, and it's just cool to kind of see both sides of the coin in a game like that. I, I wouldn't expect to do. So you got to play as uh, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles on the hero side. And then on the dark side, you were uh, Shadow, which was pretty fucking sweet. Um, I love Shadow. Yeah, he's amazing. And Dr. Eggman... Dr. Thick Man is what I called him. <laughs> um, I think that was the title of one of the uh, the episodes. It was. It was. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, Rouge from, yeah, she's that bat chick. Yeah. Um, so what was really, really cool that really kind of hit the replay value on that was the, uh, the chows. Now, the chow gardens are really cool. It's just these little animal things that you can um, – just raise as like children and then you actually can go and like it's almost like dog fighting you just get to go and throw them in, <laughs> throw them in this arena and they uh, know karate and they, they just beat the shit out it's of each like other cock fight yeah and to 100 percent the game you have to get you know so many wins and you can race them so they're also like horses uh so that's pretty cool and then if you 100 percent the game you get access to the secret level which is green hill zone so oh okay. It's uh it's a really awesome game. Do you get to play it in 3D or do you just play it in the original? Form? Uh, I believe it's 3D. Oh okay, that's pretty cool. I believe it is. I'm not sure because I didn't get to play it. Oh okay. So that's that's why you're immortalizing it into the Hall of Hardcore, Fame. Hardcore man. Okay. Hardcore. All right. Anything else? No. No sir. Okay. Well, mine is going to be Halo. Uh, I know there's kind of a theme. That uh, that happened like Gears of War was last year. Halo to me was the first Halo game. I debated a lot. It was very hard on which Halo game I was going to induct for this year. Who knows? I might come back and induct another one. <laughs> uh, but because I have a lot of memories with a lot of the Halo games, but uh, Halo specifically was. <laughs> this is how hardcore I loved Halo. Uh, I never played Halo ever. And uh, everyone kept talking about it when they got their Xbox, like Xbox. And everyone was like, oh, dude, Halo's so good. It's like the best story. It has this awesome, cool thing. You're like a space marine. You go into and you blow up this thing called the Covenant. And I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. So we walked into a, 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 re a retail, no, a retailer here in uh, Washington known as uh, Fred Meyer. And they kept selling, they, they, they were selling PC games. And uh, I picked up the disc version, the PC version of Halo, because I didn't have an Xbox. And my dad had a laptop. So he was like, yeah, sure, you can go ahead and install it. He was the – because uh, Jameson and I's mom is uh, very touchy on what gets installed on the old laptop uh, in that era. And so my dad was like, yeah, sure, you can install it on my thing. Uh, so when I went over to his house, I got to play it. And um, here's the other thing. I didn't have a mouse. Oh, oh, boy. I played Halo on a trackpad and uh, and was WASD. And uh, <laughs> that's how I played Halo for the first time. And I beat it that way. And I loved it. <laughs> I didn't know any wow. other way. I didn't know how to do it uh, any other way. I, 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 and I know what you're thinking. You're like, you can't move and aim at the same time. I know. <laughs> I was in that situation for a very long time. Oh and then uh and then after I beat it uh for the first time um my I think my dad had a mouse from work and I I got, I played it with a mouse uh eventually and um and obviously I enjoyed it and I never could go back to the trackpad. Uh and uh and then later on uh they made uh Halo Combat Evolved the re redo edition for the xbox 360 and i got to play it on an xbox console for the first time and that was uh it was really cool to see that game in like hd form and then when was master chief like 720 at the time uh yeah or 1080 it was probably 1080p it's an xbox exclusive game so uh but then when master chief collection came out i replayed that all over again uh, and I still love it. I still love Halo so much. It, it, and I know a lot of people will say, like, oh, Halo 2. But a lot of people have 
uh, Xbox Live memories with Halo Two, and same with Halo Three. And I have that was the first multiplayer. Halo probably my favorite. Yeah, that was the first multiplayer game I got to play uh, with Halo. Um, I did play System Link with Halo Two before that, but yeah, Halo Three was my kind of experience of that. But Halo itself, you know, you know, you gotta love a game when you you take the blunt end of a sword <laughs> to play it and um and i i i mean i still love it still love that game and now it got like 4k redo of it because the Master oh, Chief yeah. uh, edition update i haven't played that yet so i want to see it in 4k but uh yeah that halo halo is my hall of fame class of 2018 inductee um i don't know you guys got anything else you guys have I mean, I'm pretty good. I mean, I I could talk about my game for hours. Okay, yeah, I, I could but too. you know, it's right. I've I've said what I needed to say. Okay. Did you ever play uh, his game, Super Mario New Super uh, Mario Bros? No, I haven't played since. Um, I haven't really played Super Mario Bros or anything like that since like Super Mario World Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited that they're putting one on Switch. It's the Wii U one, I think. I think it's the Wii U one that's coming. Um, but I, I got to play his, um, he usually let me borrow it. He's like, dude, you gotta play this game. And then he tried to convince me to get the other one so I could play his Luigi while he plays Mario. (laughs) Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's a very nice Mario game. It's a, you know, definitely great on a portable device as well. Yeah, just when I, when I got the second one, it made me feel like a kid again playing the first one. As if I was playing the first one. That's cool. Uh, so you're going to pick up the Switch one? For sure. Okay. Uh, did you ever play Sonic Battle Two, Sonic Adventure Battle Two? I didn't really. I know. I know, there, I know there was a Sonic game I had. We had Sonic Heroes. That's what it was. Yeah. Sonic Heroes. Oh, no, I also had the. <laughs> that game sucked. I don't even know if there's a. It was like the song. Sonic <laughs> Olympics something. Oh, Mario, Mario and Sonic meet at the Olympic it. Games. Yeah, I had that. That was pretty fun. I always. Was I, the, was we that had on the, the Wii. We had the DS version. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, dude, ping pong was like the. F- Fudging shit. <laughs> Fudging shit. Oh, okay. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, I I, I played his. I love playing game. ping pong one. Uh, I always played against Doctor Thick. Doctor yeah. Thick. <laughs> um, Doctor Thick man. Um, Dr. yeah, Thicky. I've never played. Uh, I've seen a lot of people play your game. Like, do, doesn't like Games Done Quick do that? Like every year they try to. Uh, isn't there like a? Okay. I don't know if they do it every year. Um, but yeah, I've I know a lot of people do like. Really love the, uh, really love that specific game, because uh, isn't that one song in that game? Escape from the city. Yeah, rolling around yeah. at the speed of sound. Yeah, that song. Yeah, it's uh, a good ass song, man. It is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I I think I remember, uh, you freaked out when that song played for the first time on the live stream. Yes. It was uh, he's like, oh, you got check this out, like or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and uh, my shit, you, man. Did you guys ever play Halo? Uh, I didn't play Halo until the third um, one. I oh, have okay. the Master Chief co- uh, Master Chief Collection, so I did. Yes. Would you? Would, did Did you like it? It was very like hard to play because of like the graphics, and I, it was so yeah. hard for me to get used to. Like, oh my gosh, these graphics are like coming from so like, yeah insanely from three to one, like choppy and like. They fixed it, <laughs> but it's the love that went into it that Bungie put into that game. Um, but yeah, I did play. I did enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That is uh, that is it. We actually got just a little over an hour. I thought this actual this episode was gonna go a lot longer. Wait, we d- wait. We're done now. That's I, it. I got to <laughs> piss. Okay. Thank uh, you for <laughs> making that very clear for the people at home. Now it is your time to go take a piss. It is the end of the episode. This is the full episode ending. Actually, also if you're watching part three of the bit, I always get that one mixed up. Anyway. This has been episode 22 of Bitcade, and it is, uh, that's it. That's the end of 2018. I don't know when the full, I think the full episode officially will come out in 2019. But as of right now, you're sitting in the future uh, in 2019, and we're still in 2018. So hopefully everything's going good. I know a lot of games are coming out next year. Uh, there's a lot, man, there's so many that I, that we got to play at PAX and uh are that are coming out next year especially uh games like resident evil 2 are coming out the remake of that is uh, Ooh, looks yeah. absolutely gorgeous for sure and, that impacts. yeah and uh i mean then we got gears 5 coming out later in the year oh, so there is plenty of games so stay tuned right here 
uh, on Primal Target so that we get all that content to you. Uh, make sure you go check him out on the live streams over on Mixer.com slash Primal Target. There is a lot of fun going on over there. The community is growing. Be a part of that community. It is, uh, it is an amazing one. Uh, as well as right here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell button so you get notified when videos get uploaded. And uh, you can follow me at Ryan A.E. Moore. You can follow him at... Ashton underscore Stom. And you can follow Jameson... Jameson underscore Rice on Instagram. Yep. And then he's on Twitter. Twitter. And then I'm on everything, so it's whatever you want to do there. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night, everybody. Rage warning. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You didn't do your wave, Jameson.